There are a lot of fans we know heading out to the Cotton Bowl tomorrow. Some new rules you have to know before you go. Marvin Hurst live for us with more information. Hey, Marvin. Hey, Nicole. Hey, Doug. Listen, I'm down at the AT&T Discovery District. Longhorns down here. Got the whole board just lit up. OU sucks, all kinds of stuff. Lots of them still back here trying to get their party on. Hopefully they've read the website for this because it speaks about those new rules of conduct. I had an opportunity to speak with fans and some of them say, you know, hey, these new rules are just common sense for good sportsmanship. Others say there may be one that's going to be hard to police. The Oklahoma Sooners come into North Texas looking for an upset. For the Moors and the Brinkmans, knocking Texas out of that number one spot may be mission possible. I want it to be a good game, a good game. But, Regardless, yeah. But we, we want to win. A red hot white heat between these two teams is storied, dramatic, and a lure for the faithful. Intense. Emotional. It's a rivalry game. Both teams hate each other. In downtown Dallas, the Texas Longhorn fans almost doing a two-step because they don't plan on giving up that top spot. If Texas doesn't turn the ball over, 14, we win by 14. If we turn the ball over, it's, it's a close game. The Longhorns are ready to get into the stadium and hook them. There's a lot of banter back and forth and a lot of hollering and yelling, but always respectful. Two good teams, new conference. We respect each other. But the teams have new code of conduct rules that they have to follow. Modeled after this portion of the NCAA Constitution, it speaks of, quote, respect, fairness, civility, honesty, responsibility, academic integrity, ethical conduct, and rules of their respective conferences. That goes for everyone, end quote. Under the new code of conduct, there are no racist, sexist, threatening, or inflammatory language that can be used. There is no displaying clothing, signs, or materials with profane or abusive language, including obscene graphics that incite. No attempting to enter the area of competition, so no running on the field, no throwing objects, including paper in the stands or on the field, no illegal alcohol, controlled substance or smoking, and no taking or posting inappropriate photos of student athletes, cheerleaders, dance team and band members, and fellow spectators. No, the trash talk is going to happen. No, but they can put all the rules they want to. That's going to happen. I mean, it's just, it's part of this rivalry. You still can cheer and have a fantastic time and sit on the edge of your seats and wait for someone to win tomorrow. We don't know who just yet. Let me tell you what isn't new, but is still working. That is ejection. If you get ejected for the game for any of those rules that we just mentioned, that means no refund, no getting back into the game and possibly losing your seat for a future game. Don't make them use it. I'm live downtown, Marvin Hurst, CBS News, Texas. It's a good thing Nicole. you're telling us all the rules, Marvin, before all of the uh, adult beverages tomorrow. Thank you so much. By the way,